Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you through a 35 minute full body Pilates workout. You don't need any equipment today, and we'll get started seated in a cross-legged position on one end of our mat with our palms resting against our knees. Inhale, arching through the back, sending your chest forward. Exhale, curve through the spine, tuck chin to chest. Again, inhale, chest goes forward, back arches, chin lifts. Exhale, curve through the spine, tuck the chin in. Two more. Inhale, shift forward in our seated cow. And exhale, shift back in our seated cat. Last one. Inhale, forward. And exhale, round back through the spine. Sit up nice and tall now. Release your hands down by your sides. Lift your left arm up and over to the right, maybe dropping down onto the right forearm. And then bring your left hand behind your head and let's rotate left elbow down towards right knee and lift back up again. Elbow rotates gently down towards the knee, twisting through the spine and lift. One more, rotate down gently and lift up. Reach your left arm overhead and then lift up through center. Let's do the other side. Right arm lifts up and over to the left, dropping down onto the left forearm. Bring your right hand to the back of your head and then rotate right elbow down towards the left knee. Come back up, two more. Gently rotating down, keeping the hips firmly planted on the mat. Last one. Rotate down, just gently warming up the spine. And lift, release your right arm. And then let's lift up through center. Interlace your hands now behind your head with the elbows out wide and inhale as you curve through the spine, drawing the elbows together in front of your chest. Exhale, open through the elbows, expanding through the chest. Again, inhale, curve through the spine, elbows draw together. Exhale, elbows go wide, baby arch through the back. Inhale, curve down and exhale, open up, really drawing your elbows behind you. Let's do two more. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, open up, expanding through the chest. Last one. Inhale, curve through the spine. And exhale, arch through the back. Find your neutral spine. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And exhale, float them down by your sides. Awesome job. Spine should be feeling a little bit more warm now. Uncross your legs and place your feet hip distance in front of you with the knees bent. Reach your arms straight out in front of you at shoulder height and sit up nice and tall, getting ready for some half roll downs. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, tuck your hips under, roll halfway down the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tuck the hips under, roll halfway down. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, they sweep back and around straight out from the shoulders. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, round through the spine. So we're finding a C curve with the back here, curving through the spine, tucking the hips under, starting to warm up through the core. As we exhale, roll down. Inhale, lift up. So rolling halfway down towards the mat. This is your last one. Let's hold in our half roll down now. Inhale, lift your arms up above your head. Exhale, pull them straight out from the shoulders. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, they lower down. Keep going, maintaining that C curve with the back. So tucking the hips under, drawing your hips up towards your belly button. As we exhale, lower the arms. Inhale, lift up, frozen through everything but the arms, challenging the core, especially as we reach those arms up overhead, really pressing down with the feet to help ground you here. And this is your last one. Hold through center now. Open your right arm down towards the right side of your mat. Come through center, other side, left arm opens, rotate through the spine, come through center. Inhale, right arm opens. Exhale, everything comes together. Inhale, left arm. Exhale through center. Keep going as you rotate. I want you to think about rotating from the middle of your back or your thoracic spine. So your belly button and your hips are staying pointed forward the entire time, really finding that rotation from the center of the upper body, starting to warm up through those obliques, the sides of the waist here. This is your last one each side. 
and left arm opens. Let's hold through center and finish with pulses back for 10. For nine, so little lifts and lowers with the upper body, tucking and untucking the hips just slightly here. For four, you can do it. Just for two, and for one, inhale for a pause, exhale, roll all the way down onto your mat. Awesome job. Extend your legs long now and let's reach our arms straight up overhead, getting ready to come into our Pilates roll up. We'll start out nice and slow, so inhale to prepare. Exhale, crunch up through the upper body, bring your hands down by your hips, inhale for a pause. Exhale, tuck your hips under, roll up through the spine, inhale, arms reach up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, tuck the hips under, roll all the way down towards your mat. Inhale, arms overhead, let's do that all again. Exhale, crunch up, hands come by your hips. Inhale for a pause. Exhale, roll up through the spine. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, find your forward fold. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, hips tuck under, we roll down, arms reach overhead. Either stick with that or let's speed it up a little bit. So, on your inhale, tuck the hips under, roll up through the spine, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, tuck the hips under, roll down the mat, exhale, arms come overhead. Again, inhale, roll up, exhale, arms reach forward. Inhale, we roll down, exhale, arms come back overhead. If this is too challenging for you, feel free to bend your knees, placing your feet flat on the floor and press through your feet, using that to help you roll up through the spine. This move can definitely be a challenge to roll up and roll down all the way up the mat. So that just makes it a little bit more accessible for you. This is your last one. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, reach forward for that stretch. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, arms come overhead. Hopefully you are feeling nice and warm now. So let's bend our knees, separate our feet hip distance apart on the mat, and interlace our hands behind the head with the elbows out nice and wide, getting ready for some gentle crunches. Inhale as you prepare, and then exhale, crunch up through the upper body, lifting the head, neck, and shoulder blades up off the mat. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, crunch up. Inhale, lower. And exhale, crunch. Just like in our rotations and our half roll down, the movement is coming from the middle of your back here, so lower back and hips stay frozen, planted on the mat. And I want you to think about bending at the base of your rib cage to lift you up off the mat and then lower yourself back down. Just two more like this, crunch up and down. Let's hold lifted in our crunch now. Release your arms, placing them on the tops of your knees and let's pulse up for 10. For nine, baby lifts and lowers through the chest here. Just for six more, last five, four, three, two, and one, roll all the way down through the spine, hands come down by your hips, and just gently look from right to left on your mat, releasing any tension through the neck here. Pull through center now, and lift up through the upper body again, and hug your right knee in towards your chest, while you extend your left leg long down the mat, getting ready for our single leg stretch. Pulse your right knee in towards your chest two times and then switch, draw left knee in, pulse it two times. Switch, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse. Keep going, staying balanced up on the shoulder blades here. If you start to feel any tension through the neck, feel free to interlace your hands behind your head or lay down flat all together, whatever works for you. But let's pulse, pulse, switch. Pulse, pulse, switch. I like to exhale as I pulse and inhale as I switch the legs. Just give me two more here. And last one. Draw your right knee in now and extend your right leg up towards the sky. We're gonna repeat that series with a straight leg. So pulse the right leg in twice and switch. Pulse, pulse, and switch. Pulse, pulse, and pulse. Drawing the right leg in and the left, grabbing a hold of the backs of our legs wherever our flexibility allows, so maybe grabbing the ankle or grabbing the back of the thigh, whatever works for you to keep that leg nice and straight. 
as we pulse, pulse and switch, pulse, pulse and switch. Just give me two more each side. And last one. Draw both knees in towards your chest now. Reach your arms straight down by your hips and let's get ready for our double leg stretch. Reach your arms and legs in opposite direction and pull everything through center. Legs extend, arms reach overhead, then the knees draw in, arms sweep around. Inhale, extend, exhale, pull through center. Inhale, arms and legs go long, exhale, they draw in. Inhale, reach balanced up on the shoulder blades here, squeezing the legs together nice and active through the lower body. Lower back is pressing down into the mat, especially as you extend your legs in front of you. This is the final move in this ab series before we get a quick rest. This is your last one, and maybe reach a little bit farther in each direction, and then draw everything through center. Rest your head down onto the mat, hug your knees in towards your chest, and just rock gently from side to side on the low back. That series was not easy, so give yourself a well-deserved moment of rest here. We've only got one more quick move in this first ab section of class. So when you're ready, place your hands down on the mat and lift your knees up to tabletop, stacking them over the hips. Extend your legs out in front of you at a 45 degree angle, and then draw knees in towards the chest, lift your hips a couple of inches off the ground. Again, legs extend, knees draw in, hips lift. Modification here is skipping the little hip lift and just extending the legs and drawing the knees in towards the chest. Whatever works for you, but wherever you are, I want you to inhale as you extend the legs and exhale as you give me that little bunny hop with the hips. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw the knees in. Shoulders are staying planted on the mat the entire time, really pressing down through the arms to help you, especially as you lift the hips off the mat. We've only got two more left here. And last one, legs extend, knees draw in, and hips lift. Awesome job. Hug your knees in towards your chest now and just circle out your knees a couple of times in each direction, releasing through the hips and the center of the body. Give me one more big inhale as you draw the knees in towards the chest and exhale, release your feet back down onto the mat. Let's give our abs a break now and start to work the glutes by rolling over onto the left side of the body, resting our head in our hand with the elbow placed down on the mat. Draw the legs together, bending them at a 90 degree angle and then lift your toes up off the ground so that only your left knee is resting on the mat. On your exhale, open your right knee up towards the sky. Inhale, tap it close. Exhale, open, inhale, close in our clamshell movement. So just externally rotating through that right hip, opening up and down. Everything else is staying frozen besides that right leg, starting to work into that right outer glute here. Let's add an extension to this now. So open up into your clamshell, extend your right leg up towards the sky, bend it back down and close the clamshell. Open, extend, bend and close, inhaling as you open, exhale kick up, inhale bend, exhale lower. As you extend your legs straight up towards the sky, I want you to focus on keeping your hips stacked on top of each other, not rocking back onto your left glute here as we open, extend, Bend and close. Just give me two more like this. And last one, open, extend, bend and close. Open up into your clamshell now. Rotate and tap your knees together. Rotate, open, tap the toes. Tap the knees and tap the toes. So internal rotation and external rotation through that hip. Again, only thing moving here is that right leg as we tap the knees and tap the toes. Two more here. And last one. Hold with your knees together now and on your exhale, lift your right leg straight up. 
Inhale, lower the knees together. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So our right leg is frozen in that internal rotation position. We're just lowering it down and lifting it up. Really feeling this starting to heat up through that right glute as we exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, hold the leg lifted now, and let's pulse the knee up for 10. For nine, little squeezes up and down with that leg. You can do it just here for five. Last four, lift a little bit higher for two. And one, flex through the feet now, draw your heels together, pulse the right knee back for 10. For nine, this is where we finish this move. Give it all you got, just little lifts and lowers up and down with that right knee for two and one. Draw your knees together, lower your feet to the ground, extend your left leg long and draw your right knee in towards your chest. Maybe giving that right side glute a couple of taps to say thank you for all of that work it just did. When you're ready, go ahead and prop yourself up onto your left forearm now. Extend your left leg long down the mat. And if your flexibility allows, hop your right foot in front of your left thigh. If not, leave it behind. Flex through your left foot, shining your inner thigh up towards the ceiling, lifting up through the left oblique here. And on your exhale, lift your left leg up. Inhale, tap the ankle down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Again, foot is flexed. Toes should be pointing towards the front of your mat like I've tied a string around your thigh and I'm lifting and lowering you from that point, feeling those inner thigh muscles working here. As we exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Let's hold the leg lifted now. Point through your foot and give me circles to the front for 10. For nine, baby circles with the big toe about the size of a baseball here for four, three, two. Let's switch directions, circles to the back for 10. Inner thigh is still shining up towards the ceiling. Maybe lift a little bit higher here, just for four, three, two, and one. Flex the foot, pulse the leg up to finish for 10. For nine, really pressing through the left forearm here, staying active through the upper body, just for four, last three, two, and one. Lower that left leg down, awesome job. And let's go ahead and lay down onto our backs now. Draw the bottoms of your feet together and let your knees gently fall open to the sides, resting your hands wherever is comfortable for you. And take some deep breaths here as we stretch out through the hips. Gently draw your knees together now. Bring your feet hip distance apart and just windshield wiper your knees from side to side, releasing any remaining tension through the center of the body before we get ready for our next ab series. Hold your knees through center now. Interlace your hands behind your head, sending the elbows out nice and wide. Lift your knees up to tabletop, stacking them over the hips, and then keeping your big toes together, open your knees out to the side, creating a diamond shape with the legs. On your exhale, crunch up through the upper body and inhale, lower down. Exhale, crunch up through the chest. Inhale, lower, head, neck, and shoulder blades lifting up off the mat. Just like with the crunches in the beginning of class, I want you to focus on hinging at that bottom rib in the middle of your back, keeping the low back and the pelvis pressing down into the mat here. This is your last one. Let's hold up in our crunch now. And on your inhale, lower your toes down towards the mat. Exhale, lift knees over the hips. Inhale, tap the toes down. Exhale, lift, keeping that nice diamond shape with the legs here, lower back pressing down into the mat. If it's starting to creep up as you lower your toes down, just reduce your range of motion a little bit, maybe only lowering halfway down, however far you're able to keep the lower back pressing into the mat. We only have two more left here, you can do it. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, last one, lower the toes down. 
and hold them stacked over the hips now. Draw your right elbow towards your right knee and then swivel to the left. Swivel right elbow to right knee and left to left, working into the obliques here, hinging over again at that center of the back point, that thoracic spine at the bottom of your rib cage as we twist to the right and up and over to the left, to the right and the left. Give me two more each side here, maybe lifting up a little bit higher through that upper body. And last one, hold through center, lower down through the chest and hug your knees in towards the body, circling out the hips a couple of times again in each direction. Hug the knees in towards the chest. We've only got one more quick ab move left in this class. So keep the knees where they are. Interlace your hands behind your head again, sending the elbows out to the sides. Crunch up through the chest, balanced up on the shoulder blades, and extend your legs straight up towards the sky, getting ready for some leg circles. Lower your legs straight down towards the mat. Open the legs to the side, circle them up and around over the hips. Lower the legs, circle out and around. Three more in this direction, making the circles as big or as small as you're feeling today. Maybe only circling a couple of inches. Whatever works for you, works for me. This is your last one in this direction. Let's put it in reverse. Circle to the outside and down and lift straight up through center. Inhale, circle around, exhale, lift straight up. Just three more, you can do it. And lift through center, circle outside, squeeze the legs together as you lift up. Last one, circle around and lift straight up. Hug the knees in, lower down through the chest. Awesome job. Reach your hands through your knees. Now grab a hold of the outsides of your feet and open your feet up towards the sky, finding your happy baby pose, stretching out through the body here. Maybe gently rocking from side to side, giving the low back a little bit of a massage here, taking some deep breaths. Gently release that stretch, hug your knees in towards the chest one last time, and then release your feet back down towards the mat. Let's get into our clamshell series on the right side now. So lay down onto the right side of your body, resting your head in your hand with the elbow down on the mat. Bend your knees at that 90 degree angle and lift your toes up off the mat, leaving only your right knee down. Place your left hand in front of your chest for a little bit of extra stabilization. Inhale to prepare and exhale, open your left knee up. Inhale, tap it down, exhale, open. Inhale, lower, exhale, open in that clam shell. So toes are staying pressed together the entire time. The left leg is the only thing moving as we externally rotate to open and tap the knee down. Lift it up and lower. Last one before we add that extension. So opening your clamshell now, extend the left leg straight up, bend it in, close the knees. Open, extend the leg, bend and close. Six more like this, inhale, open, exhale, extend, inhale, bend, exhale, close. Just like on the other side, I want you to focus on keeping the hips stacked on top of each other so not rocking back onto the right hip especially as we extend our leg up into the air. So open, extend, bend and close. Just two more like this. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one. And then open up into your clamshell now. Rotate, tap the knees together. Rotate, tap the toes. Internal rotation, external rotation, knees tap and toes tap. Again, only thing moving is that left leg. As we rotate, tap the knees, rotate, tap the toes, hips staying stacked on top of each other. This is your last one. Hold with the knees together now, and on your exhale, lift the left leg straight up. 
Inhale, tap the knees together, exhale, lift. So again, we're frozen in that internally rotated position. The knee is bent at about 90 degrees here. As we lift straight up and lower down, this is where that burn really starts to intensify, at least for me. But this is your last one. So let's hold with the left leg lifted and pulse it up for 10. For nine, driving the foot up towards the sky, just for six, maybe lift it a little bit higher. For four, last three, two, hold the leg lifted, flex through the feet, draw the heels together, left knee pulses back for 10. For nine, this is where we finish this clamshell series. Give it all you got, just here for five, last four, three more pulses, two, and one, close the knees, lower the feet down, extend your right leg long down the mat and draw your left knee in towards your chest, again giving that side glute a couple of taps. When you're ready, prop up onto your right forearm, stacking shoulder over elbow. Extend your left leg long and down the mat with the option to hop your left foot in front of your right thigh for a bit of added difficulty. Flex through the toes, shine your inner thigh up towards the ceiling and exhale as you lift the right leg straight up. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Eight more like this, working into that right inner thigh as we tap the ankle down and lift. Toes are pointed towards the front of the mat here, imagining I've got that string tied around your right thigh this time. Lifting and lowering the upper leg. This is your last one, hold the leg lifted. Point through the foot, give me circles to the back for 10. For nine, eight more in this direction, drawing circles about the size of a baseball here, just for three, two, and one, circles to the front for 10. For nine, pressing down through the right forearm here, we've got six more, last five, four, you can do it, just for two, hold through center, flex through your foot, pulse the heel up for 10 to finish, for nine. Eight, inner thigh is still shining up towards the sky here. Just for four, last three, two, and one. Lower the leg down towards the mat. Uncross your legs, draw the bottoms of your feet together, grabbing a hold of your ankles and reaching your chest forward towards the toes, maybe gently pressing down on the knees with the elbows to get a bit of a deeper stretch here. Gently sit up now and find a cross-legged position in the center of your mat, getting ready for our final series of class, working the arms. Reach your arms straight out to the sides at shoulder height and leading with your wrists, draw your arms in front of your chest and open out to the sides. Draw the arms in front, open out, so palms face back and palms face front drawing the arms in front of the chest and back, alternating which arm crosses over the other each time as we float the arms in and out. Inhale and exhale. Two more like this. And last one, hold your arms to the sides, flip your palms down towards the mat, lift your left arm up and down, lift the right arm up and down, still leading with the wrists here, so making this a nice flowy, angelic movement with the arms as we lift up and float down, never letting the arms drop below shoulder height here. Exhaling as you lift up, inhaling as you pull down, up and down, exhale, inhale. Give me three more each side here. Last two. And last one, left arm lifts and right arm lifts. Bring your arms to goal posts now and let's get ready for a combo. Press your arms straight up, pull them down, rotate your palms to the floor and lift again. Arms press up, pull down, rotate and lift. Exhale, press, inhale, pull down. Exhale, rotate, inhale, lift, press up, pull down, rotate the arms and lift, elbows never dropping below shoulder height here, keeping maximum tension on the upper body. As we rotate the palms, lift up, press the arms up and pull them down. Elbows stay bent at 90 degrees the entire time. 
And let's hold in our goal post position now. Tap your elbows forwards and tap them back. Tap front and back. As you tap the elbows back, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together, working into the upper back, drawing little rainbow arcs with the elbows as we tap back and front for two more. And last one. Extend your arms out to the sides now, flip your palms up and then flip them back. Palms face up, palms flip back. So arms are staying at shoulder height. We're just rotating through the shoulder here to flip the palms up and press them to the back. Flip up and back for two more. And last one, hold with your palms facing back. Now lift the arms up and lower them down. Lift up and lower, driving up towards the sky with your pinky finger here, making sure those palms are facing back as we lift up and down. Let's hold the arms at shoulder height. Now give me circles to the back for eight more. Seven, I know it burns. I'm right there with you just for four. Last three, two, and one. Circles to the front for 10 for nine, eight, almost there, just for six, last five, palms are still facing the back, for two, and one, now pulse the pinkies up for 10, for nine, last eight, seven, you can do it, just for five, last four, three, two, and one, flip the palms down, just hold the arms here. This is where we finish this class. Take some deep breaths, arms are lifted up at shoulder height. Take one final big inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Gently lower your arms down by your hips. Roll your shoulders back a couple of times, releasing some of that tension through the upper body. And circle them to the front four times. Bring your palms to your knees now, and on your inhale, arch through the back, lifting the chest and the chin. Exhale, tuck chin to chest, curve through the spine. Inhale, find your seated cow, just like how we started class. And exhale, find your seated cat. Two more like this. Inhale, arch the back, stretch the front of the body. Exhale, curve through the spine, stretching the back. Last one, inhale, lift up and exhale, curve back. Sit up nice and tall now, and let's find an all fours position, stacking shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. On your inhale, lift your right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, reach under the left side of the body, dropping down onto your right shoulder and cheek, finding that twist through the spine and a stretch through the right upper body. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, place it down. Other side. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, reach under the right side of the body, dropping down to left shoulder and cheek, threading the needle here, finding that same twist and stretch on this side. Inhale, lift up through the left arm. Exhale, place it down. Tuck your toes under now and lift your hips up and back, finding your downward facing dog. Maybe pedaling out the knees, alternating bending into one leg, stretching deeper into the opposite side. And then reach both heels down towards the mat. Find a slight bend in your knees and walk your hands back towards your feet, finding your forward fold. Again, maybe pedaling out the legs here, alternating bending into each side. Bring your feet down onto the mat, grab a hold of opposite elbow, sway gently from right to left, releasing any tension through the back. Hold through center, release your hands and shake your head yes and no. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth, relax your jaw, just decompressing here. Then grab a hold of the back of your legs, draw your chest in towards your thighs, giving yourself a hug for everything you just did. A 
And then when you're ready, release your hands, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead and exhale, let them float down to your sides. And that is it for today's 35 minute full body Pilates workout. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone.